the recruiters came to the university <laughs> and they encouraged us to enlist and everybody did. I mean, you know, if you weren't in the, weren't being drafted, I was 18 or 18, and if you weren't drafted, why, well, you, weren't, you weren't so good. So we had a choice of, you know, like Coast Guard or Marines or Navy or Air Force or Army, you could enlist. And uh, we did that, as I said, with the idea in mind that you would complete your education. People in the, in the Navy programs, they generally completed their programs. But the people in the uh, uh, Army and the Air Force were pulled out and sent uh, to various camps. So I, it was March 1943, and I went through the, the normal routine, you know, and wound up in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida for basic training in the Air Force. My experience was all of a sudden, here we are, we're in a camp. Okay. And uh, sleep in those, those barracks that they have there. And don't talk to the soldiers, there's a lot of Americans here. You can see the picture. Don't talk to them. I remember that because there might be German spies. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sure at the higher levels they were, they knew what the situation was. And that was my first experience at seeing men, people with the striped uniforms that you've seen in the pictures. So that the, the, well, the picture here is of American prisoners, but there were really a lot of uh, real concentration camp people. And the other thing that struck me was they were, they looked like Mongolians. And they must have been from Russia or something like that. But there was a lot of people that didn't look like Germans or didn't look like us Caucasians. Uh, they were obviously from a different ethnic group. Mm -hmm. And they were, they were wearing the striped uniforms and they were... They were milling around and so on. But they didn't want us to have any contact with them. And and see, this is the first day that we were in, into this situation. Uh, you may not be familiar, or maybe you are, with, with how you're fed. You're fed off the back of a truck, and they have three GI cans, and you dip your, uh, throw your garbage in one, and you dip your, your mess kit into another, and you clean it, and, and rinse it off over here. And what I remember is those guys in those uniforms standing by the garbage. I think it was a work camp, yeah. yeah. It was not a death camp. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I'm sure people died right and left, but it was a, it was a work camp. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that uh, Dachau, I think it might have been a, uh, they call it a, a Stalag number, but it uh, probably was some offshoot of Dachau or something like that. Mm -hmm.